So this question was asked in the examination of CBSE year 2005 and 11 and also in your NCERT books. The question says a man is known to speak the truth three out of four times. So if there are four times that you have taken a survey of, out of that only three times the man was uh, seen to have speaking the truth. Once he said a lie, that means three upon four is the probability of his speaking the truth and one upon four is the probability of his speaking a lie. Now he says on a throw, it is a six. When a die was thrown, he said it is a six. Now see how many possible cases are there again for this? Two possible cases because definitely it can happen that once it was a six actually and he said the truth that yes it is a six. It can also happen that there was not a six, he was speaking a lie and that is why he said it is a six. So either the first case, the truth is also it was a six and he said the truth or either the second case, the truth was that it was some other number but still he said the lie. So there are two possible cases. Now what is the probability that it is actually a six? So what is the probability he said the truth and in the true manner there was six which was in the throw. Let's write solution, let's know what is the solution like. So let E1 be the occurrence of 6 and let E2 be occurrence of any other number other than 6. So occurrence of any number other than 6 in a die again, right? So what is probability of E1? It is 1 by 6 because in a die only one 6 can come out of 6 possible outcomes. Probability of E2 is 5 by 6. Now probability of his speaking the truth and actually we see that 6 has occurred. So probability that he spoke the truth and 6 occurred is 3 out of 4 times as said in the question itself. Now probability that 6 has occurred but he did not speak the truth is 1 minus 3 by 4 which is 1 by 4. Now you have to find the probabilities that actually the 6 means he has spoken the truth. So E1 over A you have to find out. You know the formula. Let's just put the values. So it is 1 by 6 into 3 by 4 whole divided by 1 by 6 into 3 by 4 plus case 5 by 6 into 1 by 4. Right? So you solve and the answer would be 3 by 8 which will be the answer to this question.